Hello people of Earth, welcome to my channel. If you clicked on this link, it means that you like toys as much as I do, even though I'm 27 years old. Yeah, I know, but I can help it. I've always liked them. Yeah, I like toys. And especially mystery toys, because you never know what yet. And it's a surprise, I like surprises. And I've liked them ever since I was a little little brat. <laughs> yeah, I know, I was a brat. I was crying for random reasons and uh, was demanding a lot of things. Maybe I still do that. Oops, sorry. But yeah, I really like Kinder Egg toys. So yeah, this is just uh, the same idea but on another level. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. As you saw in the thumbnail and in the title, we'll be unboxing some um, Hachimons. Yeah, I know a lot of people did it. It's not a new trend. I don't even know if it's a trend. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, we have a whole variety of uh, Hachimons, such as uh, Hachimons Pixies. We have two of the blue eggs, which means that we're either gonna get duplicate or one of each fairies, because there are only two types of fairies in the blue egg. We also have Hatchmos Collectibles Pet Obsessed, which comes um, with the, a heart. And the heart is a mystery item here because you will have another pet in the companion uh, with it. Yeah, as you can see, you can, uh, yeah, one is revealed and the other pair is not. So we have three of these. And, well, and I've seen other YouTubers unboxing those uh, before. I haven't seen them unboxing these. This series, uh, Wilder Wings. So I'm very curious how the Hatchimals look like. And of course, see like the collector, collector's guide. I'll see which one I would have liked the most if I got the one that... I think is the cutest or not. And since my channel is called Cosmos Goodness, we also have a Cosmic Candy. Again, haven't seen them, I don't know how those series looks like, looks like, so yeah. And to complete this Hatchmo haul, I decided to add another unboxing mystery uh, toy, Candy Locks Pets. Now, I know it's not Hatchmo's, but it's made by the same company as Hatchmo's, which is Spin Masters. So I'm very curious to see if there are any similarities between the two, or just an in a completely new toy, if they maybe reuse some of the molds or not. I'm very curious about that. So, uh, yeah. Okay, now we switch to with the table angle, so you can be able to see it better. It has very pretty artwork. I hope you'll be able to see it uh, because of the reflection. But yeah, this is the real snowball. I think they have multiple pixie series. I think I've seen them online, but uh, yeah, these are the ones that I found and um, I was very curious. I really like this one. Although I don't think it's in this, no, it's in the purple one. Mm. Bummer. So I don't know. I think I will not show you the options because I think it's, yeah, it's fun like that. Uh, yeah, let's open it and see which one do you get. And uh, towards the end, we'll open the second one to see if it's a duplicate of this one or if it's the other fairy. Okay, now let's open. How do we do that? From here. Oops. Okay. Oh, it's pretty easy to open. I'm surprised. <laughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll keep my fingers here, but these are the other options for the pink, uh, well, the purple, pink, and the dark purple. Okay, and what do we have here? Ah, okay. oh, <laughs> came out. Well, if you like them, you can... Uh, Cut them around and they use them in your diary or uh, yeah, just keep them, collect them. Sometimes I like to do that. Also, this one is cute. It's already cut out for you. <laughs> okay, so we have the egg. We also have this one, I hope. 
this won't give away which fairy we have. Here we have a collector's card, I think. Yep, collector's card, pretty short. I almost showed you. Mega secret surprise. Ooh, I'm curious about that one. Oh, this is cute. Based on the number that the fairy has, it also shows you her house, her land, her habitat, whatever you want to call it. So let's see which pixie we have. That was loud. The egg is pretty. I wish we were not, uh, wish we didn't have to destroy it because it's very nice. Pretty with glitter. Okay, I know that the other hatch moles, they were changing colors on the heart. Maybe this one doesn't. And we can just poke it. It's getting lighter. I'm not sure. But I know you can't crack it already without warming it. Whoops. Oh, we have a blondie. That's pretty. Good. Aw, she's adorable. I really love uh, her glitter, gold glitter with uh, her skin tone. Works very nice. And I, I think it also the deep blue. Ah, it's perfect for my channel. It has stars. It can be a cosmic fairy. Yeah, she'll be a cosmic fairy. But her name is Wishing Star Willow. That's cute. Yeah, I think I'll keep this one and put it uh, on display somewhere. Oh, she does not stand on her own. But she does have a stand. This one. Which rotates. So you can put your fairy here. And then she will dance for you like a ballerina in a music box. Music musical. <laughs> Whatever, sorry, English is not my first language, so sometimes I might uh, um, mix up expressions and words. Okay, oh, okay, here are the accessories. And we have a mask which has the moon and the star. And it's pink with the embedded glitter. And we also have her crown, which also has a half moon, I guess, and some stars. Let's see how it looks like on her. Yep. Oops. Ah, it's pretty, but to be honest, uh, I prefer without accessories. I think they're a little bit, um, I don't know, out of. Uh, Context, they don't really fit the fairy. Mm -hmm. And now the mask. Yeah, it's cute. But the, I'm, I'm curious if it works as a uh, Barbie accessory because it looks pretty big. I mean, big enough. We'll see. But yeah, this is the first one. It's very cute. I like it. Oh yeah, and the, uh, I guess this does give her give away what kind of fairy you have because uh, it looks like it's personalized. So you'll put it here as decoration, and you'll have a uh, a small diorama for your doll. Oh, and also the the egg you can peel everything on the top layer of it. And you can keep the base where you will place the, the fairy and it will be very nice on display. Like this. Yeah, let's put this one away. The next one that we're gonna unbox will be one of the series Pet Obsessed that I told about earlier and it already has two adorable pets that are visible and uh, another set that it's hidden, it's mystery so uh, yeah, and on the back you can see a lot of uh, pets from this series well, I think it's cool because you can also choose a set of pets that you like and you can also have the element of surprise by unboxing the one from the heart 
Okay, this is the collector's item. And I don't think it gives away the pets it has inside. <laughs> you also have a nice uh, display for them to play with it. You can put your pets here around take photos if you want. Okay. Hmm. Right, so it looks like we have common, rare, ultra rare, limited edition. Oh, and it shows based on the the heart that you have? Okay. So I think this one is a common because it shows two emojis. So yeah. These are very cute. These are very cute. I don't know if you can see them. What's the name? We have a, a lion type. It looks like a lion and a hippo. So this one is Leo Royal, Leo Royal, Leo Royal, I don't know, Real Iron Hippo, I think. Okay, managed to get a hippo out. And now the Leo Royal, Real Royal, whatever. I don't know. Oh, I'll name him uh, Frankie. It is, it is funky because uh, his own name is just too complicated for me. But as you can see, it has the glittery, glittery wings and it matches his companion, which is a hippo. And the hippo is so cute. Look at it. So small and with big black eyes. Very cute. And if I'm not mistaken, they have some sort of magnet. Uh, I don't know if all of them. But as I mentioned, or not, I opened one of these packages before and some of them have magnets and they can hug or stay on top of each other. And this one I don't feel anything, so... Hmm. And also the checklist would show you how, uh, which, is the, which is the best way to display them. Now, this is the heart and it will crack exactly the same as the pixie egg. The, this part will crack. This one is solid and you can use it for display. So let's see what we have inside. Okay. This is fun. I, I like to crack them. Open. Oh, looks like we have another yellow one. Oh, yo. Is this a hamster? I think it's a hamster. <laughs> Look at it. It's so small. Look at it. This is a teal green. Oh, we have a big gay hippo. <laughs> Very cute. Now, let's see how they're supposed to stay. What is their name? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hip hatch and hamster. Yeah, okay. Hip hatch and hamster. And on the collector's uh, item, uh, collector's guide, it shows that hamster should sit on top of the hippo like this and it does and they're very cute together yeah this was the first set of the hatching balls okay the next one will be the wild and wing series i've never seen this one i've never opened one and i think uh, it has some sort of fantasy vibe to it. Here you can see a bunny that has scales, just like a mermaid. Oh, and apparently has a pretty big wing. So let's see what we have inside this package. Okay, I think it's adorable. All half small packages are adorable. Like the the purple, the pink, the blue combination is very cute. Oh. Right of the bag, we can see the wings. That's cute. We have a collector's guide, which I'll consult it after, because I don't want to spoil any surprises. I don't want to be disappointed if I don't get the one that I like the most. So, let's see. Ah, this is adorable. I've, <laughs> I've never seen one of these before, but uh, I think it's very pretty. Oh, okay. It looks like it has a... Ha it's like half demon, half angel, because it has uh, some sort of a back-looking uh, 
wing and uh, another like angel wing with feathers. So I guess you also crack this one. Don't know. Or just open it. I think you may just open it. Should you crack it? Oh yeah, you crack it. Ha! <laughs> Sorry. I was confused there. So these are the wings that uh, our uh, Hatchmo would will wear. But I think it's very pretty that, and cute that uh, the egg comes with the wings. What do we have here? Oh, <laughs> looks like a, a chick or an owl. It's a half see-through purple and half, uh, yeah, solid uh, pink, fuchsia, fuchsia, I don't know. Well, hot pink. I think it's cute. But to be honest, I prefer the, the look of the egg better than uh, the Hatchmo. And I was expecting to match the colors of the wings. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me that much. <laughs> but yeah, I still think it's very cute. And I'm curious if you can do something with the egg if you remove the excess. Because yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's that's cute. That's cute. I won't lie. Okay, let's see the next one. So the next one will be another pet obsessed box. This time we have a glitter companion here, and also a glitter pet. Uh, so I didn't mention, but we do have a normal one. Nobler just crazy colors on it. The first one, the glitter one, and the fuzzy one. The fuzzy one will be the last to open. But yeah, let's see what we have here and what's the name of the one that we already have. Let's see. Uh, instructions. No, we don't need those because it's pretty straightforward. So this. This is a dog, and it's called Puppet. Puppet and Kitten. Oh, it looks like a turtle to me, this one, but apparently it's a kitty. So, here they are. And the kitty is supposed to sit on top of the puppy. Puppet. 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 Pup puppet. <laughs> okay, like so. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cute. And the dog also has wings. The kitty is pretty hard to see, but it does have like the kitty ears and all. So, yeah, of course, very ador adorable. Like any other Hatchmos, they're very cute. Even the first series, I really like them a lot. Okay, now again, we have a heart with two emojis. And uh, I think it also means it's a common. So far, the um, funky, <laughs> the funky um, lion from before, it was a common, and uh, the hippo that came with, uh, it was also a common. Okay, let's see if we have something special here or not. Okay, I see a peek. <gasps> Aww. This is very cute. It looks like a um oh their heads turned okay. Ah, <laughs> these are adorable. So what is this is exactly? Is the dragon? Kind of looks like one. I'm trying to look on the collector's guide, but I cannot see it. Hmm. Oh, it's Draggy and Puppy. So it is a um, a dragon type creature, <laughs> uh, and it's also a common. So it wings at us and has all the spines here, the spikes on the spine, and the puppy is just yeah to die for. To be honest, I really like the companions better than the pets. 
because they're so minimalistic, only the cute figurine and the, some big black eyes. Yeah, so far we have only common ones. Let's see what we have next. Now we're going to unbox the Cosmic Candy, which I'm also very curious about. Um, yeah, it doesn't have anything on the package, so I have no idea how they should look like. So let's see. Ah, this, ah dark tape. Ugh. The other ones were easier to open. But, well, I guess I'm gonna rip it. Cute egg. <laughs> ah, it has a sticker with a candy on it. Okay, and a collector's guide and put this side. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Um. I forgot to say the name of uh, this little creature. Uh, apparently, the penguin, because the name is Split Pingua, and it is a. Is this a super chase? Yeah, it's not a common one. Okay. Oh no, it's a rare. It's a rare. Yeah. So. Oh, it looks like we have a moon and stars. Is any different? So many collectors guide that I've, I've lost them. Okay, this one. Probably will tell us what we have. Ooh, this one is glow in the dark. That's cute. Not mad about it. I'll crack it and see what I have inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm very happy that I have a glow in the dark one to be honest. Uh, okay. I push this thing. What now? I can already see it. Uh, are there two inside? Uh, why is it so hard to open? Oh no. I think I'm gonna break it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Better get rid of the heart then. Okay, they're like doors. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's a snail. It's an intergalactic snail. I wonder if it's faster than regular snails or it's just as slow. <laughs> but it had it has wings, so I bet it's faster. And apparently it's glow in the dark, which is very cute detail. I love glow in the dark things. Although sometimes it scares me. Once I had uh, my manicure done with some glow in the dark ink. Ink? No. Nail polish? Nail polish. Gem. I don't know. And uh, <laughs> whenever I would turn off the lights and uh, uh, take out my, um, my hands from under the blanket, I would get like, what was that? Yeah, that was also because I'm very easily scared. But I like the fact that you can keep the egg. That's a very nice detail about this collection. You can keep the egg. I think it's cute. And when you remove all the extras from the um, the previous design, you can put it back and you uh, take a peek at you. Peek at you, peek at you, peek. Wait, is that where it comes from? Pikachu, Pikachu, it takes a peek at you. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we have in the next Pet Obsessed. Okay, here we have the third and last one. Uh, now we can see we have some furry companions here, like a pet and a companion. And I think they're all so common, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a tiger. It's a tiger. Let's open it. I wonder what it's called. The tiger. Oh, Tigrette and Chinchua. Ah, that's cute. Tigrette and Chinchua. Oops. Bye. Oh, the fact that our fuzzy is very cute because it amplifies the fact that they're pets. Well, I know not all pets 
have fur, but I prefer the the fluffy ones. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So this is the tiger. And this is the chinchilla. Again, I I really love the companions. Like if you look at them till now, <laughs> they are so cute. So this is the chinchilla one. This is the hamster. Still on the belly. This is the kitty. The kitty I like the least because I don't know the glitter takes away from the details. The fuzzy one is the best. Also the hippo, so cute. And the puppy. They're all adorable. They look like candies because they're small and colorful. One color. Now let's see what we have in the heart again. So. Yeah, and hard with two emojis. If it has clouds, it's rare. If it has diamonds, it's ultra rare. If it has a print and a paw, limited edition. So we didn't have any rares. But I think I didn't even know to look for something like that. So, oh, okay. <laughs> That's cute. Ah, we have a turtles. Turtles. Turtles, turtle, turtle, ah, whatever, something, you know, Ugh, the slow thing <laughs> that goes back in its shell, ah, uh, yeah, so this looks like a kitty, but with the beak, so this is supposed to be, hmm, let's see where we can find it. On the collector's guide. The name is Chee Tree and Turtle. Chee Tree, Key Tree. Uh, yeah, I think it's a fantasy animal because I don't think it looks like anything we have or it does. Well, of course, all of them are fantasy animals, but this one, yeah, looks like a kitty, but it has beak like a bird. So, and this is a turtle, and on the collector's guide, they were sitting like this. Poor turtle. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have only two left. And I think I'll unpack this one, the Candy Locks Pets. To see how they look like, what's the difference between these and the, the hatch molds. And at the, the very end I'll uh, unbox the last of the pixies and see if there's any chance for us to get a different one or if we'll get a duplicate although i really like the the fairy that i got the wishing star willow so i yeah i'm okay with the duplicate <laughs> candy locks never ever unboxed one of these hmm, but it said pets so the idea is, do we get a candy lock doll and a pad, or just the pad? Okay, let's see, how are we supposed to open it? Like this, okay. What do we have inside? What's this? Um, I don't know. Let's to take out this. Hmm. Looks like a hair accessory. Oh, and this this is cute because the package you can reuse and you can play with it. It looks like a uh, a home for whatever we have inside. But just a blind bag. Ah, oh, okay. So no dolls, only the pet. They're pretty big and they have very long hair. And I guess you can make a uh, cute bun and uh, secure it with the accessory that we got <laughs> let's see give something like this <laughs> so i guess we have a unicorn that's cute very mermaid looking let's see what's the name unicora oh are they supposed to smell oh yeah it has a very faint uh, smell of raspberry apparently it should be raspberry yeah, very pretty. I don't see a lot of similarities with the Hatchimals, which is good. Well, the fact, first of all, 
they're a different size. If we take the big ones, see, they're a little bigger. Yeah, and then they have hair. <laughs> so there's that, that's different. I think that they're very cute. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Are we going to have a duplicate of this one? Or are we going to have the sister fairy? Which is called, let's see, Breezy Brenda. And we'll also see where these fairies live at the end. So let's open it first. See how pretty it is again and feel sorry for destroying it <laughs> and let's push what do we have no we don't have a duplicate yay <laughs> that's cool although i said it will be okay with a duplicate but of course it's better to have a different fairy to see how she looks like ah she's also very pretty has very very glittery hair like the other one and this one is uh, blue uh, with gold and I think it's a little bit here it's missing of the gold one so yeah she has highlights ruffle skirt pink blue color combo uh, I think it's pretty I really like the other one better but yeah, they're adorable so what's not to like about them let's see her accessories oh and oops, oops did i do something whoa did the other one had something like this and i threw it away i have to check but this one comes with three so I think it's a necklace. It looks like a necklace. So yeah, be very careful with these because yeah, they're small and have small accessories. Uh, this one has a seashell. Okay, so this is a, let's say Ariel's cousin, because she's, uh, she's friends with mermaids. And also he has a very pretty tiara or crown with a seashell and a star. It is very cute and of course the stand where you'll put it and she will dance for you. So yeah, definitely this thing is a giveaway because it's not the same as the other one. This one had moon and stars and this one has seashells and also some stars <laughs> cute these are the toys we unboxed today the two pixies and uh, candy logs right here looking pretty cute made a very fast <laughs> hairdo and uh, now the pet obsessed we have all of them here uh, one here, like me. This this one was the um, impossible, improbable match or something like that. And here we have the cosmic candy one, which is glow in the dark. This nail. And uh, the other one, what was the name? Something with wings. The penguin. So let me know which one is your favorite and why and if you have a um, favorite series of the Hatchimals this was the unboxing for today if you like it please like also the video please subscribe to my channel because i'll be doing this in the future not only unboxing but i'll be also doing crafting uh, videos um, i'll be also trying hacks why not uh, following some sort of trends i'll try to improve my drawing skills because to be honest 
I'm an amateur. I don't draw a lot. I don't have extraordinary draws, but I try to improve that skill because I really enjoy it. We'll be also doing some bead arts um, and the rock painting. It's a trend that it's been, uh, it's very popular right now in the Netherlands where I'm living currently. And uh, yeah, also please comment down below which of the Hatchimals series you like the best. If it's a series that I haven't uh, unboxed and you really enjoy, please let me know. I'll try to hunt them down and also share my opinion on them. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.